Hey guys, it's your girl Blessing with Friendless Media, and here's my latest review of Black Cake, Season 1, Episode 5, called Mother. Before we even start, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, there will be spoilers in this latest review. In this latest episode, we learned that Eleanor was indeed trying to end her life, but wants to live when she gets her cancer diagnosis. Before she died, she tried reaching out to her other daughter, Mabel Martin. Mabel is a popular food guru and has a son named Gio. She is living in London and is in danger of being canceled because of some tone deaf comments she made about Caribbean food. She's being raised as a white woman by her family who haven't told her that she's adopted or about her cultural background. Mr. Mitch is the one that reveals to her that she is adopted when he tries to honor Eleanor's wish when he reaches out to her. Of course, she is in shock and unbelieving of this news. Meanwhile, Byron and Benny are trying to process this news of having another sibling. Now that Benny knows she has another sister, her feelings of not being good enough for her mother, she feels stems from the fact that her mother was always thinking of her first daughter and she was actually living under her shadow and not Byron. Byron is over his mother's secrets. In order for the siblings to continue listening to the tapes, Eleanor specified that Mabel has to be present. Lynette is the one that speculates that Mabel may be the result of Eleanor's sexual assault by her boss. Lynette breaks up with Byron when he agrees to be a part of a diversity panel representing his company. She can't respect him because he doesn't fight or advocate for himself enough. Mabel finally confronts her parents about keeping her adoption from her and who she really was. Benny is being pressured by Steve to sell an artwork that she really doesn't want to sell. She goes over to Steve's place to see the artwork one last time and in a fit of rage and anger destroys it. Feeling scared of Steve's arrival and reaction, at that moment, she calls Byron to let him know where she's at in case something bad happens to her. Benny unloads all her pent-up feelings and frustrations towards Steve. She storms out and Steve follows her, asking for her forgiveness. Byron shows up at Steve's place and confronts Steve which leads to Byron beating him up. As Byron is beating Steve up, the police show up and draw their guns at him. That's where the episode ends. This episode actually made me really, really mad because of how it ended. Benny could have just kept on walking out on Steve while he was apologizing. Abusers, when confronted, are always contrite and apologetic and she seemed like she was ready to finally be rid of him. But because he apologized and begged for her forgiveness, she stayed. Because of this and Byron knowing that it was his abuse that kept Benny from their father's funeral, he unloads all his pent up frustration on Steve. This action could lead to Byron losing his job and possibly going to jail for assault. Hell, he could be easily killed by the police if he makes the wrong move. I guess we'll get all the answers in the next episode. That concludes my latest review. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment down below.